Well, I'm here to uh, talk about my trip here in Brazil because I'm going home in exactly one month from now. Uh, today's date is the uh, 10th of October 2009. So I'm going to talk about it um, up until now since I've been here since um, May of uh, 2009. So um, Brazil is a very beautiful country. It has a lot of things to offer to its people. It's very pretty and uh, it's very alive. The people here seem more more alive and happy even though they're, they have less money. And um, the, the, the life here is more difficult. It's not as, as you know, convenient, let's say, as, you know, compared to the United States. But it has some qualities that you'll never find in the United States. And, uh, you know, I really like something very simple is you can go out in the middle of the morning, which they call the madrugada here, and uh, you can find like a hot dog to eat. And uh, the hot dog is not like in the United States where it's just, just like a hot dog on a bun. It comes with vegetables and mashed potatoes and all this stuff, like heat compressed inside together. And that's really, I thought that was really nice. They have special foods here that they don't really have in the... Uh, you know, in the United States, they have something called coxinha. That's delicious. I'm not even sure what it is, but um, it's delicious. And they have kiwi. And they have something called suco de maracujá, and it's a special um, passion fruit drink that uh, makes you kind of tired. It's pretty good. It needs a lot of sugar, also it's sour. And uh, the food's good. The people here are very friendly, very helpful, and they treat, um, you know, foreigners with a lot of respect and a lot of them have questions. Some some of them have asked me questions that I haven't necessarily liked, but you know, you have to take the good with the bad. Um, they, uh, the music is beautiful. Once you understand the language, you can get the sense of the music. It's, it's really quite, quite fascinating. Um, some things I didn't really like about here, most specifically in Sao Paulo, is the traffic and the pollution and it's very crowded. Anything you do here requires you to wait in a line for at least an hour, and I find that very inconvenient. Um, the, tra the traffic is, is terrible. Uh, it's, you know, I'm, I'm kind of terrified to drive in this state. Um, I've been to two other states, and uh, I'll tell you about that. Um, I've been to Porto Alegre, Rio Grande do Sul. That place is, is fascinating. It's so beautiful and it has a lot of history. Um, the people down there look completely different. They're not very olive, you know, olive colored or what they call it moreno here. Sort of a mocha colored skin complexion. They don't really have a lot of it there. A lot of the people are, are more white. A lot of blonde people, blue eyes. I felt more at home there actually than anywhere. Um, you know, as far as the people. Uh, I met a friend there named Nadia, who I love a lot, and she's awesome. And I've waited years to meet this woman, and I finally met her. And I met Tachi, it's a friend of hers, who I met a year ago, who was awesome also. Who was nice enough to allow me to spend two or three days in her house, because I spent a lot of money on airplane tickets and hotels and whatnot. And Nadia took very good care of me, she's like a second mother to me. Um, so it was really nice meeting her, and Tachi, and a guy named Chuck. Chuck was okay, he's also American. And I also met uh, Nadia's husband, Fernando. He was cool. He was very funny, actually. And he's uh, very, uh, well, how can I put this? He's very attentive. So, you know, that's good. Um, so then I went to, after that, I went to Victoria, the Espirito Santo. And that's where I found the beach. And I've, I'm sure you've seen all the videos. And I saw my best friend in all world there. His name is Breno. Um, we, I was there for about 11 days. We saw, we went to the beach practically every day. We went to a couple of um, clubs and dance clubs and bars. And I met Panos. He's a German person living in Victoria, and uh, he's he's pretty cool. He speaks Portuguese just as well as I do. And I introduced him to Breno, so they're friends now. Um, the beach in Victoria is absolutely beautiful, and the, the lifestyle was amazing can't compare with anything ever. It's similar to Florida, but it's not quite the same. I actually prefer Victoria more than Florida, not just because of Breno, but because everything's cheaper there. 
and the beach is right on the main drag, so you, uh, you just go straight and this all s just beach all the way through. I loved my stay, my stay there, and I loved Breno's family. It was nice meeting that part of his family that I haven't met before. Um, and then the last and not the least I have to tell you about Guadalupe. It's a very old, dirty city, but it has a lot of fun things to do here too. It's just not my cup of tea, though. I would prefer not to live here. It's more of the economic capital of Brazil to live in Sao Paulo anyways. But I have a girlfriend here named Elisa Angela, who I love a lot, and I had to kind of stay here if I wanted to be near her because her, uh, her family is uh, religious, let's say, and they, uh, they won't allow such normal things to occur, such as her leaving the state and staying with me in another place without us being married. So I kind of had to suck it up and just stay here for a few months. But um, my next journey here, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stay in another place, probably Victoria. It's been my favorite, and I will travel a bit more next year, um, and we'll have to work something out with Lisa and her family. Um, I haven't got to meet Marta yet. Marta's very special to me, but hopefully, sometime before I go back, I will. And if not, I'll, I'm, you know, make an attempt to meet her next year when I get. Um, so I lost about 26 pounds since I came to Brazil, and I gained 10 back this last three weeks. So um, the food's good, and I have been a little bit lazy. But um, it looks like I'm not going to meet the goal that I had made prior to coming here, which was to get down to uh, 195 pounds, which is about 88 kilos. So I guess I'll try again next year.